It's one of the main things that needs to be in place before Oregon can reopen. It's contact tracing. That's the process of identifying all the people who may have come in contact with an infected person. And tonight, Fox 12's Sarah Hurwitz is giving us a look at how it works by introducing us to a woman who is spending her days doing that tracing right now. A nurse with Washington County Public Health tells me that she's anticipating that they'll be making many more calls to track COVID-19 as Oregon reopens. If you've tested positive for COVID-19, whichever county you live in, expect to get a call. There's a lot of questions that need to be asked. Um, symptom onset, um, exposures, um, what, you know, did they, did they go into the hospital system? Um, how did they get tested? Christine Keating is a nurse with Washington County Public Health who's also making those contact tracing calls. She says contact tracing is not new to public health, but tracking COVID-19 poses unique challenges. Because there is no treatment right now, uh, the intervention is um, real, largely a behavioral intervention. It's wearing masks and self-isolating. Um, and that's tough for some people. Keating says everyone has a different situation and can't isolate in the same way. For example, Keating says frontline and essential workers, as well as people in crowded living conditions, can struggle with isolating themselves. In the case that someone is asked to self-isolate, Keating says public health is finding ways to help. We actually create support teams to go out and work with um, grocery pickup, prescription drug pickup. Um, there's a whole team that will deal with um, financial issues that, that people are facing if they need to quarantine. So where is the state right now? Well, Governor Kate Brown is requiring counties to have a minimum of 15 contact tracers for every 100,000 people before they can reopen. The Oregon Health Authority gave us its chart of how many contact tracers each county has, and its latest data was April 24th. It shows that the state still needs about 380 contact tracers to meet the governor's guidelines. And as the state reopens, Keating says public health officials are going to be busy. Not only are we looking at an expanded number of contacts as um, Oregon moves to open up, but also an expanded definition of what who we are doing contact tracing on. She says that contact tracing calls are not just going to apply to somebody who has tested positive for COVID-19, but now if you have been exposed to somebody that has tested positive for COVID-19 and are exhibiting symptoms, you can expect to get a call as well. From the Mobile Newsroom, Sarah Hurwitz, Fox 12 Oregon.